In this video you will see just how low can Garfield go. I'll show my overseas friends some of the normal prices that I see in Australia when I'm buying stuff. Remembering that one Australian dollar will basically buy you one American dollar and vice versa. And most importantly I'm looking out for Easter eggs which are on display far too early. I actually had a few people contact me and ask me a very prudent question. And simply the question was, hey Leo, did your local Coles display the Easter eggs hard up against Christmas again this year? Way back in the dying days of 2011, I posted a video which was an angry rant talking about the Easter eggs which were on display while we were still celebrating Christmas. A simple revelation here is you can't celebrate someone's birth hard up against the remembrance of their death. And I'm pretty sure I'm not the only person who was alarmed and surprised to see the Easter eggs out so early and it really did smack of corporate stupidity. So let's move forward in time to early January in 2013. And this year Easter is very early. Good Friday falls on the 29th of March. The big question is, has my local Coles had a turnaround of thinking of when they display their Easter eggs? The usual activity you see in shops during January in Australia and remembering it's summertime is you'll see a lot of the Christmas decorations are on special and the prices of these can really plummet during January. I've certainly got my eyes on grabbing another Garfield but I can see he's still $10. I've got a funny feeling he's got a fair way to drop yet before I make my purchase. Remembering before Christmas he was selling for $20. The other notable inclusion is the horrors of the back to school stocks. In Australia the longest school holidays happen across the Christmas period and school tends to resume in the first week of February. It was very interesting to see some major toy brands were lining themselves up to become schoolyard classics. Personally I'd be going for the trash pack stuff, that was quite interesting to see. So on the 2nd of January could I find any early Easter egg display in my local Coles? Well the simple answer is no, it seems Coles have pushed back the display time and now I wonder why. All I did find in this same end aisle position was a lonely penguin musical squeaker, desperately looking for someone to take him home. Ah. Oh. Hopefully I'm a fair person and I've only made this video because Coles have done the right thing and realised they made a huge mistake by releasing their easter egg displays far too early the previous year. Now I'm wondering whether the bunny who suggested the early release of eggs has still got a job. On my grand search of the store the only chocolate eggs I could find were Kinder Surprises and I have a feeling they are a mystery to my American friends. There was a time when I used to collect the tiny toys inside these wonderful chocolate eggs. And now I'll just show you some things that I found in the store and I took interest to and I videoed the item and the price and I want especially the people that I know overseas to have a look at the prices and remember those in the USA if they came to Australia you would be paying basically this price that you see because of the one to one factor of our currencies. The prices I see in my Coles supermarket are pretty typical of the prices that you would see anywhere else in Australia. So has having a strong Australian dollar affected my purchasing power within Australia? Well the simple answer is no. I know last year there was a lot of scrutiny of the company IKEA and their pricing in Australia. One argument IKEA had was Australia was so far away from the manufacturing hubs they have that had an effect on the Australian pricing. When I wander through IKEA I notice a lot of the things are made in Indonesia and Vietnam. Last time I looked on a map those countries are not very far from Australia at all. I did also bump into a Lego representative in Target Hornsby and of course I quizzed her about Australian prices. Well first off I was laughed at. It was explained to me it's the Danish Kronen versus the export market the Lego is going to. So basically it was put up as a currency argument. If it's put up as a currency argument well it's a fail argument because the Australian currency and American currency as it stands are equal. I think Australia is just a bunny hole for a whole bunch of companies who can land products here and basically charge double than what you would see in the USA. And having a strong Australian dollar means absolutely nothing. Here's a conundrum, which one of these is the real Nookie way? And so let's revisit the Christmas area again and during the time I made this video the prices really did go down. So it's true, down down the prices are down. That's the song you hear at Coles all the time. It's the old status quo song. And that's why I had to strip out all the audio from the original video because I would have had a DMCA from Status Quo. So magically the Garfield is now $5. 
and a big wave of price reductions went across all the Christmas stock again. And boy, were there people snapping up this stuff real fast. Thanks for watching this video, and maybe if you see something that you know the price of, tell me the country you're from and tell me how much you pay. I'm really curious to see. If you're over there in the USA and you're considering a holiday in sunny Australia, make sure you bring your money with you. You're gonna need it. Okay, that's it for this video. Bye for now.